Penelope Jackson shows no remorse, just resolution, when she's arrested by police at her marital home. Can you, can you come outside? Yes. Thank you. He's on the kitchen floor. Okay. With any luck, you'll be too late. And when emergency services battle to save the life of her husband, she displays only a brutal coldness about his fate. Right, get the ambulance in, Pronto. We need oh, CPR. Oh, don't. No, no, no. Please don't. Yeah, we need oh, the should have stabbed him a bit more. We've got CPR being done at the moment. Right. The 78-year-old retired Lieutenant Colonel and Penelope Jackson argued over a Zoom call with her daughter and son-in-law, the jury heard. A row sparked over a side dish of bubble and squeak. Later in the evening, she said she stabbed him after he dared she wouldn't. He called 999 and she spoke with an operator. And are you with him now? Well, I might just go and stab him again, but... All right, do not stab him again. Why? Okay, so just listen to my voice. Okay, yes. stay on the line I with am, me. I am complimented. Okay, are you with the patient now? Well, I'm in the lounge and he's in the kitchen bleeding to death with any luck. You need to help him, okay? No, I'm not. All right, madam, I don't how many times have you stabbed him? Um, I did the once. You did the once? And then he said I wouldn't do it again, so I did it first more. So, okay. So, in total, how many times? Uh, three times. Three times, okay. Uh, once I thought I'd get his heart. Well, he hasn't got one. And then twice in the abdomen. What really strikes you is the calmness of Mrs. Jackson. Uh, the, she was, in her words, compass mentis, so really clear in her thinking. And that came across in her conversations with the police, uh, where she was very clear. Uh, about her intentions on the night and that she had wanted to kill Mr. Jackson. I stabbed him. Police body-worn camera footage shows Penelope Jackson starting to think about her defence, trying to push the blame for the attack on him. He's an aggressive bully and nasty and I've had enough. And when he said, you wouldn't do it, I did it twice more. And even after caution, told of her right to remain silent, she stuns police with a forthright confession. Penelope, my advice is don't, don't talk about it now, OK? No, no, I have no, no intention of not agreeing to what I've done. OK. I know what I've done. All right. And I know why I've done it. And if I haven't done it properly, I'm really annoyed. Mm. Police found she had written this confession note. I have taken so much abuse over the years, she wrote. Look at my records. He was a good daddy, but the mask slipped tonight. I accept my punishment. May he rot in hell. The jury heard her reaction when she discovered her husband had died and her arrest had been upgraded from um, attempted murder. Further arresting you for murder. Oh, um, good. I've already cautioned you. Yeah. So. so the community here in Beru, David and Penelope Jackson presented as an outgoing, sociable couple. But the court heard different versions of what life was really like behind closed doors. They were shown a video filmed by Penelope Jackson months before the killing. It was of an argument between the couple. He was seen walking away, calling her a control freak. But she, giving live evidence, told the court that her entire life was managed and monitored by her husband. That she suffered years of abuse. Sometimes this was physical, she said. Sometimes he throttled her and left her bruised. You would have thought if she had killed her husband and said, I've had years of abuse, that she would have told you this in advance. And that's one of the key questions that the police and the court uh, needed to understand, really. Why... Uh, when Miss Jackson had the opportunity, when she was being so open with the police on the night, when she had her interview and, and gave her prepared statement in terms of uh, her version of events, why none of this other uh, background was mentioned. And that's a real key question that the court and the jury had to understand. Detectives had to peel back the layers of this woman who lived in Somerset, suburbia. Was this small, outgoing accountant a victim herself or not? She'd widely travelled, enjoyed the finer things in life, very um, strong personality, the evidence presents. She's um, uh, quite outspoken, particularly uh, after a few drinks. 
and um, and she could she could have quite a domineering character for some, um, but um, so she was quite confident. But actually, um, that that said, there was no indicators I think for anyone that that knew her or was close to her um, to suggest that she'd be capable of any sort of violence like this. In custody, Penelope Jackson, the killer, calls herself a nuisance. I'm very sorry for being a nuisance. But a jury disagreed with the defendant. Not a nuisance, but a murderer. She faces many years in prison. Roberts Murphy, ITV News.